Beekeeping is really a humanist experience and an experiment in society. Why do bees pull on this cord internally in society that no other organism does? So my name is Elise Watson. I uh, own and founded Apiaries and Bees for Communities, ABC Bees. And we run beekeeping educational programming as well as run a commercial apiary here in Alberta. Alberta is the fifth largest honey producing region in the world. So it's literally the land of milk and honey. Um, so moving rurally for me, it was a great opportunity to not only expand my apiary in operation, but also we have a small family and raising our children on the land and in prairies seemed like the perfect choice for my husband and I. I get up, usually sort through bee equipment, get my prep list for the day organized, truck loaded, whatever I haven't planned in mind for the day. And then I'm beekeeping usually by nine o'clock until about five. If I don't have to pick up my daughter, then I'm beekeeping usually until dusk. I run a unique apiary. We are a treatment-free beekeeping apiary, which means it's a management heavy. We don't use any agrochemicals or even organic acids or anything to manage disease or mites. So it means there's a lot more management, a lot more maintenance in the care of my bees, so it takes a lot more work. I started ABC Bees in 2010. I was really interested in learning about bees, and there wasn't really any programming in the province of Alberta to help people like myself get into beekeeping, to learn the ins and outs of animal husbandry, focus on bees. It was kind of an old boys commercial club. If you took education, it was for beekeepers who wanted a thousand or more colonies. Um, not really for a person who wanted one in the backyard and maybe give honey away for Christmas. I would say that beekeeping as a whole is a fairly solitary pursuit for many people. That's one of the things I love about Elise's apprenticeship program, the fact that you can go and beekeep in community. I get far more out of an hour of beekeeping with Elise and the other people she has as apprentices than I do in 10 hours of beekeeping on my own. Have you ever smelled wax and pollen and honey on your fingers? There's nothing like it on the planet. It's the first thing I noticed when I had my hands in the hives. I had this resin on my fingers. This connects you with everything. It's astounding what it does for you when you have that kind of scent on you and you're dealing with these insects that are really a perfect machine. I meet people who come to beekeep or want to learn to beekeep from me or take my programming. When I ask that question, they're always like, I want to save the bees. Uh, when in reality, they hate their job or they feel disconnected from nature or they feel a strong sense of responsibility for being accountable for something in their life they feel out of control with. When people keep bees, it's not because they're saving the bees, it's usually because they're saving themselves. And so when I get to engage with a group of beekeepers, there's always a right and a wrong way to keep bees. But if you ask 10 beekeepers how to do it right, you'll have 15 answers. You know, there's never actually a true right response because in the end it's how you move, how you feel, how you think, how you observe, and how you choose to react that makes you a beekeeper. And those answers to those questions are never right. There's always an optimal way. And that optimal way is you as a beekeeper learning from mistakes and the bees teaching you those mistakes and learning how to do it right for you and that's a life lesson that people need to learn anyways and that connection with nature and that connection with an inclusive colony of insects that only give back instead of taking every time they take nectar from a flower that flower can propagate a hundred seeds over um, it's a pretty spiritual um, way of engaging with nature. But bees aren't for everyone, and that's okay. Um, but if they are for you, then be prepared. Bees sting, suits are hot, smokers will burn you, um, and uh, beehives are heavy. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's worth it.